So let's continue our discussion on lung pathology. So last time we left off with a general introduction on the two types of lung pathology. Now we'll talk about um, the, ex the deficiency patterns in lung pathology, namely lung chi deficiency and lung yin deficiency. So we'll start off with lung chi deficiency. To treat lung chi deficiency, all organs involved in chi production have to be treated simultaneously. So that means the kidneys, the lungs, and the spleen. Um, the cardinal symptoms of lung chi de deficiency are as follows. Susceptibility to common cold, spontaneous sweating, low voice, a forceless cough, a shortness of breath on exertion, watery sputum, and aversion to cold. So let's discuss more on the symptoms. As lung chi is too weak to control respiration and to down bare chi, so that chi rises and controlled. This will cause a forceless voice. Forceless, forceless cough, I mean, sorry. Lung chi deficiency will also present with a copious watery sputum. As lung chi is too weak to distribute body fluids so that they transform into sputum. Lung chi is also too weak to control the vocal cords. Thus, people who have lung chi deficiency will present with um, a laziness to speak. Lung chi is also too weak to stimulate the vocal cords adequately. Thus, Having uh, people having lung chi deficiency will also have a low voice. In lung chi deficiency, the defensive way chi is sufficient and is not able to warm the skin and muscles. Thus, there is an aversion to cold. People with lung chi deficiency has a susceptibility to common cold as defensive or weight chi is too weak to protect body against external pathogens. People with lung chi deficiency also present with shortness of breath on exertion as lung chi is too weak to control respiration and down their chi so that it rises and controls. People with lung chi deficiency are, are also always fatigued as lungs do not produce enough chi or enough energy. In lung chi deficiency, chi is also deficient and transportation of chi and blood to the face is impaired. So it follows that people with lung chi deficiency will have pale facial complexion. Spontaneous sweating is also a symptom of lung chi deficiency as opening and closing of pores is governed by lung chi. By lung chi, if defensive or weight chi is deficient, force cannot be controlled and spontaneous sweating occurs. Now let's move on to lung yin deficiency. 
Ilangian deficiency, signs of dryness manifests as the moistening function of the lung is impaired. This results in, in further complications of dryness in the lungs. Among the cardinal symptoms of lung deficiency are as follows. A dry cough, dry skin, dry throat, itching in the throat, night sweating, five center heat, and a hoarse voice. Because lung is not moistened sufficiently, so the characteristic of cough is dry or cough with scant sputum. In comparison with lung deficiency, where there was a watery sputum. As lungs don't moisten the throat sufficiently, people with lung deficiency will also have a hoarse voice. Aside from having a hoarse voice, um, lung chi deficient people will also have dry throat due to the insufficient moistening of the throat. Aside from that, um, skin will also be dry. Lung deficiency will also present with dry skin as having the moistening function impaired. Blood vessels are damaged by heat in, lung, in the lungs with lung chi. If lung chi is, if lung mean, I mean, is deficient. So you can see blood is from in lung mean deficiency. Lung yin deficiency, like other yin deficiency syndromes or patterns, will have night sweat. At night, defensive or weight chi that circulates in the bodies and the body surface during the day moves back in yin organs. In yin deficiency, heat inside the body is increased. At night, this heat is even strengthened by defense or weight chi inside the body so that the body fluids are driven out of the body in the form of sweat. Uh, 